My name is Deborah Shore. I live in Evanston, Illinois. The first person I came out to was probably the first woman I fell in love with. Uh, and uh, that happened when I was in my mid-30s. And uh, I would call that coming out to myself. I felt more fully myself, uh, happier, uh, more whole. I don't recall any specific moment of coming out to people publicly. Uh, I ran for public office uh, over a decade ago, and one of the requirements for endorsement by the Victory Fund is that one be openly lesbian or openly gay. And I asked myself, what does that mean to be openly gay? I already had a website. I listed my partner's name on the website. I mentioned uh, uh, activities I was involved in, but not everybody has a website. I just lived my life and uh, introduced my partner to people, and uh, it seems to be sufficient. I think it's enormously important that people know who we are, that we as LGBT people are present throughout our society, are contributors throughout our society, are uh, neighbors, sons, daughters, parents, members of our churches and synagogues, members of the PTA, and elected officials too. The challenges facing the LGBT community are the challenges facing our society at large. They are having good paying jobs and being able to contribute and support our families. They're having health care for everyone and being able to take care of ourselves and the people we love. They're being able to live fully and serve in our military and serve in all kinds of ways, recognizing that we are full members of society, fully equal and able to contribute and not second-class citizens. The comfort and relief and happiness you will feel from coming out and being embraced by others in society are way more than the fears that you have about doing so. Uh, if you find you're not accepted by some members of your immediate family or your church, please know that there are many, many more uh, throughout the country who will embrace you for who you are and feel proud of you for being honest about who you are. I'd like to talk about how important it is that people run for office as openly gay uh, members of the LGBT community. It's been said that if we're not at the table, we're on the menu. And when we serve an office, it shows people not only that we're competent and authentic and good at a range of things, whether it's education or health care or conservation uh, or economy, but we help to set policy. We help to make those budgets. And it forces sometimes others in legislative bodies to look us in the eye and to reckon with us and to hear our stories. And it's harder to dismiss us when we're a person that they know, when they've been to our homes or met our partners and children. And I can say in my service in 10 years on the Board of Commissioners of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District, uh, early, early in my tenure, I asked, could we provide domestic health benefits to uh, same-sex partners of our employees? And the executive director said, well, I don't see why not. And that passed unanimously, not only to same-sex partners, but to opposite-sex partners. And then I asked, why hadn't we done so before this? And they said to me, well, no one asked. And my point is that when we are there in office, we ask. And it helps not only members of our community, but everybody. How do you feel about this project of building the world's largest library of coming out stories? 
It's a terrific project. I hope that it helps many people by showing the diversity of who we are and the diversity of our stories. Uh, I hope it's a repository of the richness of our community uh, and contributes to our history uh, at this point in time.